Hey everyone, it's Cynthia Maynard here from CynthiaMaynard.com and um, I think some of you um, know that I have a Silhouette Cameo 3 and I have reviewed that. But I wanted to go through as I've been learning things I thought and as I've had questions I thought maybe you would have these same questions regarding some of the software usages. For example, today's video is on grouping and ungrouping and how uh, that might sound simple but I know for me I, I hadn't used the software before and I didn't, sorry I keep hitting the camera there, I didn't know what to do. And here you have the software, and for some of you that might, um, you know, not feel comfortable doing these things or whatever, but I thought maybe this video would help. So I'll just throw it out there, and if you can use it, you can use it. If not, that's great. Um, so anyway, for example, if it's a great feature to be able to group and ungroup, obviously. So if I want to go to my library, okay, and I have all my designs in here, Okay, so let's pull up this design. It says grateful. Hopefully you can see that. So let me zoom in there a little bit. Um, and it says grateful and it has these little viney things there. But let's just say I want to use uh, the word on my card. Right now this is um, can be moved around and if you have a, a computer that you'd just be using your mouse. Sorry, I'm using my finger because it's a touch screen. But, um, so right now it's all one thing, right? So if I want to highlight that and I need to right click, learn as we go here. So hit ungroup. And so now they're in three different sections. Hopefully you can see that. Let me bring that closer to the screen. Okay, so they're kind of highlighted with little boxes around them. Um, so that's great. So now see how they're separate and separate. <laughs> I don't know why that came out so funny. Um, my mouth is cold. Uh, so I want to get rid of these. So I just go down and hit an X that's down here at the bottom of your uh, software right down here where my finger is. So I hit it, highlight it, and hit X and it's gone. So now I just have the word grateful. So now I can do different things with that. I can make it smaller. I can make it larger. What if I have a design that is, um, for example, let me type in, by the way, you have a search bar up here that circles. So I want to go ahead and hit, i got to bring my keyboard up here, and I start typing in circles, and it's going to bring up all my files that have circle, circleish things in there, okay? So let's say we want to do this uh, nested stitch circle framelits, okay? So we're going to go ahead and bring those up. So now we have those on our page. You can see there are one, two, three, four, five of them and they have sort of a stitched border. Well what if I want to put one inside the other and make a new thing? So right now they're all one, um, oh, why I'm having finger problems, there we go. Right now they're all one unit. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight all of that and hit ungroup. And so now they are uh, separate. Now with this file, if you notice, hopefully you can see that. Let me zoom away in there as far as I can. Hopefully this will show up. Even the stitching is removable. So here's a good example. If I don't want a stitch circle, but I still want to use this circle, then I can totally get rid of that. Or if I don't want it to move around, let's hit undo a few times here. Um, put it back where it is. There we go. If I want to just highlight this particular circle and I want to group that now, and so now it will move all by itself with the stitch. So you can see why it's important to have the grouping and ungrouping down because the, it just opens up a world of variety to you when you buy one file or get it free with your uh, little subscription thing there. Um, you have all this potential now with it. Um, so let's say I want to put this circle inside that circle. Now I'm going to get rid of these guys. I'm going to delete them out. Delete, delete, delete. And I could have highlighted that and grouped it and then delete it, but whatever. Okay, so now I've got it inside here. And if you want to check, if that's in frame, if you want to check to see if that's uh, nice and lined up, you can use your grid um, bar here. So you go to View and Show Grid, and then the grid will pop up, and that'll help you uh, with your um, 
you know, sort of lining it up and whatnot, but uh, I don't necessarily need that on right now. So you just do the opposite with that and hit show grid again and it'll disappear. So if I want that to be um, kind of in the center there, not kind of, and then I want to go ahead and hit all of that and then I'm going to group that again. And so now we have a whole new thing here. And so when your machine cuts, it's going to cut inside here and you're going to have, you know, a frame as it were. And if you want to check your cutting settings, you just go over to where it, the cut button that you normally would click and, um, and you can see. Now, if, if that looks like it's going to cut here. So if I want to make sure that it's just the outside and the inner circle, you can do different things with that as well, but that's for another video. <laughs> I don't want to get too too into it, but I want to keep it uh, grouping and ungrouping, but just to show you that, um, you know, there's so many things you can do. Let's go to a different file here. Um, I've even made my own um, file here, and the, the one I used, let's see, so I have a corner. I'm going to write in corner so that it'll pull it up quickly. Uh, here's this file here, and these are a bunch of book corners that you can use in journaling and things, and you have different shapes. So let's say I want to use, I don't know, this one. So right now they're all together, so I'm going to highlight all of it. I'm going to, oops, I'm going to highlight all of it. I'm going to ungroup. I'm going to delete the ones that I'm not working with right now. And then I've just got this guy. And let's say I want to make a shape with this, okay? Copy that. So I'm going to hit the copy, and then I'm going to hit the paste. And so now I have two of them, okay? And let's say I want to... having finger problems here. Um, and then we go ahead and do that, and we hit group, and now we can move them about, okay? So that's the general idea. So not only within a file, you know, when you get a file that is a multi, um, a lot of the silhouette files have great, um, if you can go to the store here, right from your software, and um, I don't know, we'll go to the daily, daily deals here, and a lot of the files come with multiple things in it, which is great, like this, this really cool um, uh, label bracket label set that's on sale for $69.99 right now, or $69, 69 cents right now, but it comes with four. Well, what if I don't want to use all four? You don't have to cut all four. When I first got the machine, for some reason, I cut all four because I didn't know how to get rid of the other ones, and I know it sounds weird, but, you know, when you're not used to a new program and you want to hurry up and get cutting, it's <laughs> one of those things. But any of these that have these multiple parts that come with it, um, you really uh, have endless possibilities with it because of the things that you can do. So um, anyway, lots of these have multiple, multiple parts. And um, maybe maybe I want this file here, but I just want the bow out of it. Okay, so I can get rid of all the other stuff and I can just cut out my bow. But anyway, hopefully that helps. If you guys have further questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. Maybe I missed something or there's something I said you didn't understand. Um, I don't want you to be afraid to use your machine. Some people felt a little nervous. You know how it is when you get a new machine and it's different. You have to learn things and Silhouette does not give you a book with it. You have to go online and do all that reading which isn't my favorite thing. I'm a book fan. <laughs> and uh, But it really is very easy to use once you acclimate yourself to it. So um, don't be afraid to play around with things and draw things and do things. Just draw simple shapes and kind of learn how to use the buttons. Um, but the grouping and ungrouping, I wanted to put that out there because for me that was a question I had, how to group and ungroup. And I just wanted a video that just said, answered my question. How do you group and ungroup? So hopefully that answered that for you. Please hit uh, like if that was helpful to you and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And please visit my website at CynthiaMaynard.com. Have a great day.